Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be speaking to Helen uh, from Belgium, who runs a really fantastic YouTube channel. It's all about study sessions. Um, and they're basically streamed live on YouTube. Now she has a channel, she's been running it for around about two years now. And she's been very successful gathering around about 1,500 uh, live viewers each time, which is impressive for the three to four hour uh, study session she does. Now we're going to be speaking to her about some of the the ways that she's using this as a study tool for you guys out there um, and how she plans to develop this in the future. So uh, Helen, please do introduce yourself and maybe add some things that uh, the community don't know about. All right. So my name is Helene, I'm from Belgium, and I am in the in degree of chemical engineering. And because of that, I have to study a lot. Not always motivated to do so, but because I can live stream, it is such a great motivation for me to study, because there are usually between 50 and 100 people watching, and I tell them I'll be studying for one and a half hours, and so I have to, because I told them. Uh, and it's such a great motivation for me, but not only for myself, but also for all the people watching. They're not really watching, they're actually studying with me. Because when they see me study, it is a trigger for them to study as well. So uh, it, it's great to do that. And that's what I do on YouTube. I mean, other people and myself. So <laughs> it's, it's really brilliant. And so, so you were saying you've been doing this for the last few months. And, and how have they been going, those, those study sessions? Because I've seen they've... They've been increasing in uh, like being more regular. Um, so how have the last sessions been going for you? Well, at the beginning of the school year in September, I started live streaming daily just to study more frequently. And uh, in the beginning, it was quite a little uh, nervous for me to, to do that because uh, people were watching. But eventually, I became used to it. And uh, it was great to see the study buddy community grow so my subscribers are called the study buddies um, and more and more people have been joining in and it's fantastic to see how so many different people from all kinds of countries all around the world are tuning into study together it, it feels really good and we feel united and it's it's such a good thing uh, I, I really love it Brilliant. and and that watcher someone who's joining in with the the session what should they expect so when they start and when they end how like what's a sort of what's a regular live stream for them watching well it always begins with a few minutes of motivational speech where i talk to people and try to get them started by like doing a little motivational speech and i tell them to set a goal for the live stream on a piece of paper, I tell them, okay guys, what are you gonna do today? Write it down, and by the end of the session, make sure you have it finished. So I kind of obligate people to push themselves to work hard, and by the end of the session, I ask them, how did it go? And I share with them my experience and how it went for me, and uh, that's basically a really great way to reach your goal, is when you set it, and you write it down, and then you work hard, and then by the end of the live stream, you'll see that most people reach their goals and then you support each other and yeah, that's that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, you see me studying and I don't talk, so it, it's not interruptive or anything. That's great. And, um, and so when you're, when you're broadcasting live stream, do you, um, do you want your community to go out and do live streams themselves? The, the actual, like, do you want to inspire them to run their own live streams so that they can get the same sort of motivation that you do? Of course, I completely uh, support everybody into doing this. Uh, for some people, it's a little bit too scary to be on the internet live streaming. Uh, but for a lot of people, this could work. Uh, it's not maybe enough for them to watch me study, but live streaming yourself is even more motivating, motivative because um, being a place for people to study and it, it just feels so good and um, anybody starting I support them I go to the channel and support them and I think more and more people should do it so we can reach more people to help studying and get motivated so uh, I completely love it when people start a channel like that um, a great friend of mine Fliss from study with me is also doing the same thing right now and She's been growing her channel a lot and so reaching many people. She's from Australia, so I mean, I'm from Belgium and we have different time zones, so it, it, it 
fits you know to each other uh, so people from australia can also watch a live stream without being at night <laughs> it's a 24 7 program i i see uh, yeah. I see her her videos as well, and they're really good too. Um, I've I, I think I subscribe to her as well. Um, and and for those people that are in the sessions, what are some of the things that you recommend that they do? So study habits. Have you got any tips in terms of um, what in that three hour session? What can they be doing? Are they having timers on? Do they put their phone away? Is there any tips that you can give? Yes. Um, as I said before. First, set a goal and then turn off all distractions except for the live stream. Um, to do that, you can put it on full screen. So some people use their tablets, other people use their laptops. Just put it on full screen so you don't see anything of Facebook or anything. And turn off the notifications too. And um, just get started. Just get your books out. Just start writing down or whatever way you study. And make sure that by the end of the live stream, you've reached your goal or almost reached your goal. Just try to do your best. and uh that's pretty much how it goes so that's good and, and and in terms of the reactions you're getting from people inside of the community are they positive have you got any really strong messages like oh my god this has been uh, brilliant for me in terms of studying have you, have you had any of those so far have you got any community members that are happy <laughs> yeah well, i i always get this message every single day um from one or other, some other people, uh, people saying like, "Oh, I got a test, and it went really well." It was because I was studying with you, and for me, that feels really good, you know. And that's that's one of the reasons why I keep going. Um, or other people are saying, uh, "I'm really stressed for an exam," and then they get help in the chat because there's a live stream and there's a chat section. They get help from other study buddies, uh, supporting each other, and then they go to the exam. They do really great, and then they come back and share in uh, the chat their experience with the exam and go like, oh, it went good. Sometimes it doesn't go well, but um, it's okay, you know, it happens. It doesn't have anything to do with the live streaming, but sometimes just the test is really difficult. Um, but usually, people always share their good experiences, and it also motivates other people to read that in the chat. And I think the chat is a really great streams to, uh, to motivate yeah, people. I, I saw the chat when I've jumped in on live streams before and it's really there's some really great people in there they're talking um, uh, like sharing what goals they're they're having for the first session that they've done so it's it's really positive and and because it's such a new concept is obviously the first time I found out I was like wow this is awesome like the idea of of people live streaming these it's not only good for accountability it's good for uh, motivation it's good for like because you know studying can be lonely sometimes so it's it's a really good thing that you're doing but with that do you have any idea for the future do you just want to continue doing these daily ones and sort of grow the community out and continue doing that well um, I've been thinking about going to different locations I've been trying it out the last couple of weeks going to university like actually setting up my camera is, is a little awkward but I do it and for me as well, it's, it's a different location. It's easier for me to remember things because I link them to the location. But also with people watching, it is, it's not always, if they always have to see the same background, it's not that interesting. So I try to change it up a little bit. And that's what I definitely want to do in the future as well. Uh, on the other hand, I'd love to collaborate with other channels, having a split screen, screen of each other studying. Um, we haven't been able to figure it out yet, but it's going to happen soon. So we will have a, a split screen and studying at the same time and that's just i think we can bring two communities together then and like a community you know yeah, studying you can, you can together that. yeah that yeah. sounds really good the <laughs> one question i had for you in terms of so when you're actually doing the studying have you ever had obviously i've seen the the sessions you do in the library have you ever had anyone come and interrupt you um as, like a friend <laughs> like no, it hasn't happened yet, but um, uh, I have some people staring at me across the room because sometimes I read the chat uh, when I have a break and people are really funny in the chat and I have to laugh, but I cannot laugh, obviously, because it's the library uh, and people, I, I just try to hold in my lap, um, but people stare at me or, you know, I have a separate webcam, it's quite big, so people stare at it as if they're being recorded and be scared and stuff, but <laughs> they're not in frame usually, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, wow. No one ever interrupted me. 
Oh, I'm sure it's. I'm sure that's an episode to come. <laughs> in, in <terms laughs> Probably. Of, so, in terms of like, if I if there was a new student coming into the channel, how can they get started? If if someone comes into the channel tomorrow, what can they do to get their full maximum experience of the channel that you're doing? Well, I try to tune in to a live stream, an actual live stream, because I have over 100 videos already to watch afterwards. But if you can catch a live stream, it's always better because you're actually in the interaction. Um, and put it on full screen uh, so you cannot have any distractions. Um, you can also go to the chat to get started and write down your goal in the chat. That's what a lot of people do. Uh, some other people prefer to just have full screen and ignore the chat and just um, listen to it. Some people only listen to the live stream. They, they turn the screen black. And I only listen to the sounds of, of markers going over papers <laughs> when a P get turned. That, that's what some people enjoy more than seeing me study, um, obviously. And then you just have to get started. And when I take a break, you can take a break or you can just keep going. Like some people, they study the entire session without a break. I don't know how to do it, but <laughs> somehow. Um, at the end, I congratulate everybody for finishing. So. If you stay until the end, you get like a, a tap on your shoulder <laughs> for doing so great. Um, and, and then, because for the first time you try this out, it, it's kind of weird, but eventually you get used to studying with so many other people, even though you don't see them, it's virtual, but you get used to the idea after a bit of time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So. And I, I like the what you're doing with the channel. Uh, I, what I recommend as well is I found it handy. So on the YouTube, right, you can click the notification button. And any time oh, yes. that you do a live stream, right, it comes up. So that's a handy tip for anyone that's looking to join in. Um, yeah. But thank you for taking the time out, Helen, to talk to us about the, the channel. It's, it's a really great channel for anyone out there looking to get started. I'm going to be including everything in the description so you guys can can go and explore. And if you're studying, if you're looking to even take an hour, right? Even if they don't have to do the three hours, they can just do an hour um, and they can enjoy the session. So there's a, there's a lot that you can benefit from this. And, and I can imagine it works in the same context for people who work as well. So uh, there's a lot of benefit. Yeah, thank you for taking your time to talk to me <laughs> no and, and ask your questions. No, I'll include all of the social media as well uh, to it as well so that everyone gets it and they get all the tweets and everything like that. Um, but thank you for taking the time. And uh, anyway, guys, thank You're you welcome. very much for watching. As I said, all the links will be in the description. If you have any comments about like any study tips that you have, put them in the comments and I'm sure we'll read them. So uh, anyway, thank you very much, guys. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.